Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of our Community Access. This week, we visit some great folks in Edison Township that are celebrating NOTA is back. Then, on April 23rd, we went to Boulder Point Golf Club to visit with the Spring Fashion Show to celebrate to support the Pink Ribbon Trailblazers. Then, we have our Dog of the Week from the K-9 Rescue League, and finally, George from Wojo's Garden Center, all today at our Community Access. Welcome back. Congratulations to Addison Township. Finally, after three tries, NOTA has back to help the seniors and disability folks in Addison Township. With the story is Terry Stiles. Terry? Hi, Bill. I'm out here in Addison Township the day after the May 5th election. That is an election that was very important to this community. The North Oakland Transportation Authority millage request was on that ballot one more time, which is the third time. After being turned down twice, I'm sitting with two people that would not take no for an answer, Pat and Joe Schnur. Pat, I know that you two were behind this grassroots movement to get it back on the ballot. So how do you feel about this win? I think it's wonderful. Uh, the voters came out, uh, the residents came out and voted, and I really appreciate it, and I appreciate all the people who helped get the petition signed. That was the main thing, getting it on the ballot, and the voters came through. I know that there was even a concern last week, at, uh, or a couple weeks ago, at one of the Addison Township uh, meetings, board meetings, one of the trustees spoke of his concern that that precinct three, mm -hmm. which I know that didn't get the top votes, um, was not still aware of the situation out here, that ridership was discontinued in January because of that um, right. precinct not coming out. So how do you think that happened? How did we get... Well, a lot of people belong to like the Elks Club and mm -hmm. things like that. And I had uh, people from the Lions Club, the Elks Club, the uh, Oxford Legion, things like that. And everybody in the Euchre Club that comes in here. There were so many people putting pressure on their friends to get out and vote or get an absentee ballot. And talking about it. And talking about it everywhere they went. And I think that really made a difference. I had people walking, uh. walking in this entire area here, actually walking, people who didn't have transportation to uh, make sure people understand what's going on. Because most people are, are busy with their lives and they don't read mm -hmm. the paper a lot of times. Sure. Mm -hmm. So they, they don't understand what's going on. Well, and I understand that that quadrant doesn't even get our Oxford News or the Oxford Leader. That's right. So they really were... And I contacted the Romeo paper and, and uh, sent them information so that they would know what's going on to alert people who do read the paper. Very good. And uh, thanks uh, to the Oakland Press and, and CJ at the Oxford Leader, and to you folks for all the things that you've done for us. We really appreciate it. Well, I'll talk about a grassroots organization. That's right. Everybody in this community, that's what's wonderful about this right. community. They all look out for one another. Sure do. And that's what surprised me so uh, many times talking to people about this issue. It surprised me in August when it was turned down. It surprised me in November when it was turned down because we do know each other in these, in these communities. That's right. We do take care of each other. Speaking of grassroots, sir, uh, you told me a story about your wife, you and your wife driving around in not really good weather initially in January to do this. Are you proud of her? I'm very proud of her. I have one comment to make about this whole situation though. Okay. Uh, every time I turn around somebody in the paper says the public is not really on top of it. They don't really care. Well, uh, Abe Lincoln once said you can fool all the people some of the time, some of the people all the time, but I don't think you uh, could fool the uh, Michigan public because they killed that proper propagation prop one, proper, right. prop one they destroyed it yeah uh, nothing I've ever seen got hit that hard but they weren't voting their pocketbooks they were voting the fact that it was a bait and switch operation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now 
The other end of it is the people of Addison Township knew they were going to get a tax increase, but what they did is they voted for it because they knew that it had real use and it was a necessary thing. It meant what it said. Yes. Yeah. So do you know, um, have you spoken with some of the riders that haven't been able to ride? Uh, yes, they're, they're, they're ecstatic, good. especially this one lady uh, who lives right on the edge of Oakland County. Uh, she's so excited because she lost her husband. There's no transportation. Oh. That's not Eleanor. No, no. Oh. No, no, this is not the, Oh, the, I'm, I'm just so thrilled yeah. for everybody out here. I know uh, since January they have not been able to ride. There's people that needed dialysis. They need to go to their doctor's appointments. They need food, for heaven's sakes. And I'm thrilled that Addison Township stepped up to the plate. Everybody came out. They, it was a real push. That was 27 votes. So thank you, Addison Township, and thank you, you two. Bill, back to you. I'm going to go hug everybody. <laughs> Joe and Pat, good job. Next up, we went to Boulder Point Golf Club for a spring fashion show to celebrate the support proceeds benefiting the Pink Ribbon Trailblazers and providing mammograms to uninsured women. With the story is Julie Hogan. Julie? Bill, it's Julie Hogan coming to you from the Pink Ribbon Trailblazers Spring Fashion Show. And I'm speaking with the founder, Pat Nolf. Hi, Pat. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing great. This looks really, really exciting tonight. And you can feel the vibe going on. I'd love to hear more about it. Tell me about it. Well, what we did, um, I have a good friend that owns a, a, a restaurant or a uh, clothing shop in Oxford. And the name's Boulevard Boutique. And she came up to me one day and she said, Pat, I want to do a fundraiser for your organization. Let's sit down and pick a date. I said, okay. And she said, and then you can do whatever you want to do to raise money for your cause. And Tell me about your cause real quick for the folks out there that aren't familiar. Okay, I sure will. Um, what I do is that I raise money I'm a 501c3 nonprofit, and for all the uninsured women at, uh, in Oakland County, I raise funds so that they can receive a free mammogram, and that's done at uh, St. Joe Mercy, Oakland. So basically, that's what we do. What a wonderful cause, and I know that a lot of that has to do, I've heard your history, and that we have um, some of our models this evening are actually uh, cancer survivors. And they're going to proudly strut their stuff tonight. Am I correct on all yeah, that? Yeah, even, even I am. So why not? <laughs> Terrific. Excellent. Well, you, do. Yeah. you look fantastic tonight. And I'm sure the rest of the models look great, too. They will. They will. They're, they're excited because they're all breast cancer survivors. And most of them have been in our, one of our calendars. So we're promoting that tonight, too. And uh, some of the other models will be in the 2016 calendar. So Ooh, that sounds exciting. I, I love it. Another way that we make money for mammograms. For sure. Now tell me what else you have going on tonight. Is this, a, is this an annual event that you do every year? Um, no, this is our first year, and uh, it just kind of happened. We thought, oh, we'll be so happy if we can get 100 people. And as it turned out, we're maxed out at 185. You can see that just by looking around that everyone's just so happy and uh, they walk in in the pink and and you know the wonderful lights and the table dressings they're uh, I can tell the excitement's in the air <laughs> well I, I can see you're a busy woman and I'm gonna let you go but um, again congratulations and I wish you luck on um, a fun and fabulous evening thanks again Pat. Okay, get ready. Hey, everyone.
everyone. I'm here with Sue Oles from Boulevard Boutique, and we're here at the Spring Fashion Show, and how exciting is this? This is fun. This is fun. I met Pat Knopf a couple of years ago, and it's been brewing, and we're excited. You put two great minds together and very fashionable women, and look what you get. I love it. Well, I'm, I'm excited to hear details about it. Tell me about this fashion show. Is this something you do every year? This is, I've done fashion shows for the Wounded Warriors. This is the first time I've done it for Pat. Um, but when I found out what Pat was raising money for, I thought we need to be a part of that. And I cannot get over the women. We had to turn away women in the last week because we sold out. Oh my gosh, that is not a bad problem to have. Congratulations, that's so great. How exciting. Um, so I want to know, like, uh, maybe you could do a summer, fall, and winter. Maybe. Are you going to help me? <laughs> hey, I might. This, this looks like a load of fun. And it's nothing like uh, getting a bunch of friends and family and, f and a great fundraiser and fashion. Let's not forget the other F here. So. Shopping. And shopping. The vendors are great. And so there's lots of great shopping also. And Mother's Day is right around the corner, so they're shopping for Mother's Day. I love that. A little reminder. Take care of your mother out there. Exactly. <laughs> well, again, it was very nice to meet you, and I congratulate you and hope everything goes really well Thank for you, you today. Thank you. You're welcome. Yep. everyone. Uh, I was just talking with Destiny here about some of her great products that she has at the show here. And uh, hey, Destiny, why don't you tell me a little bit about what you have going on? Yeah. Well, with 31, we have some great new products. We have the new Jewel line, which is um, great, very versatile because the bags, you can um, take your pockets uh, and customize your purses. So you can transition easily from one purse to the next as you're changing your outfits or even changing your roles if you're going from mommy role to um, heading out to work. So it's always great. It looks like um, you have a lot of really customizable stuff, very very unique, special, and um, I kind of want to just emphasize that because there's several vendors at the show tonight, like Destiny, that have some really unique and interesting things. And I think this event is really a worthy cause. And not only is it a worthy cause, but you can shop, hello, like you can't go wrong with that, right? Absolutely. We love one-stop shopping, right? There's so many great vendors here, and it is supporting a great cause. Hey, everyone. I'm here with Lisi from Ella Fashions. And uh, Lisi, I'm excited about the fashion show tonight. Tell me, what is, what's, what's the newest trends that are out that you're going to be showing? Oh gosh, there's so many. Special fashion is so open right now. And um, so I'm trying to show two different styles that I carry in the store, something casual with something a little bit more fancy that you can dress up and dress it down. Um, of course, pieces you can travel. Um, I, of course, I do have a lot of ladies that come and they travel a lot. So pieces that they're very comfortable and they can wear, you know, more than one time. That's always my key to be versatile in fashion, yeah. Ooh, I like that. She's after my heart with that. So tell me too, do you have jewelry, shoes? I do. I have shoes. I have a little bit of accessories. Um, but of course, the main focus of the dresses and the outfits that create. Um, we have separate pieces too, as well shorts, Bermudas, pants. I mean, you name it, we have it. <laughs> Wonderful. The last question I have are you going to be modeling? No, I'm not going to be modeling, but I'm going to be talking about a lot of fashion and designs. They're going to be in, a, in, in, in the runway, and it's very exciting. It's an exciting night. Yeah. Terrific. We're really excited for you, and good luck tonight. I hope you have a great time. Hey, Bill, I have another great vendor here at the show, and her name's Percy. Hi, how are you? It's very nice to meet you, Percy. Why don't you tell me a little bit about what you have here? 
Uh, basically what I have here are necklaces, pendants that are made out of recycled, repurposed dominoes. Um, the artwork I buy from the internet, they resize it and it's applied to the tiles. And then the coating, it, which makes it glossy, goes on and then the embellishments are dropped into the wet solution so that it, uh, they're, they're not going to come off, they're not glued on, so they come with a chain. Terrific. I think they're really unique and cool like everything else here, but can you tell me a little bit how you got involved with this particular, particular charity? Uh, well, I live in the neighborhood. I belong to the Oxford Women's Club, and I'm a frequent shopper at Sue's Boulevard Boutique, so that's how I So now we know how she came to be. <laughs> Thank you. It was very nice to meet you. Enjoy your evening. everyone we had a great time out at the fashion show this evening great food great friends lots of fun so wish you guys could join me back to you bill just another great benefit in oxford next up is our dog of the week from the canine rescue league hi my name is karen we're here at canine stray rescue in oxford today i have with me daisy may we have her listed as a shepherd mix um, first, I'll tell you a little bit about us. We are located north of um, town in Oxford. We um, adopt out dogs. We have um, approximately 50 dogs here. Before we adopt them out, they are up to date on their rabies and distemper shots. We spay and neuter them, and we also heartworm test them. She was tested negative for heartworm, and I believe she knows a couple of tricks for us. So, let's see. Daisy May, can you sit? Oh, good girl. Okay, she did very well with all handling. Shake, very good girl. She's looking for a home. She's been with us for a little while now, just because she's probably a bigger dog. And she also did a video that is on our Facebook page. So if you go to our Facebook page, you can see a wonderful video that the Oxford High School students did on her for us. Um, we will be at the zoo in a couple of weeks, May 14th and 15th. And I bet you Sadie May will be there. Daisy May will be there also. Come here, Daisy. Can you say hello to everybody? Daisy, sit. Sit. Good girl. Lay. Very good girl. Treats always help a little bit, don't they? Can you sit and give me your paw? Oh, yes, you can. Yeah. Can you do it again? Yes. Okay. Um, we also are always looking for volunteers to come and work with us and the dogs. Come here, Daisy, Sadie. Okay, she's going to go visit. Yeah, we're always looking for volunteers. You can come during any of our open hours. We do actually, I believe on uh, the second Saturday of the month, we even have a new volunteer orientation. We'd love to see you. Take care. Now that is a great dog. Now you can visit her at the Canine Rescue League at 2120 Menomore Road, just north of Myers. Next up is George from Wojo's Garden Center. George? Good afternoon, this is George, and I'm back at Wojo's Greenhouse and Garden Center in Ortonville. It is a beautiful, early, I guess we're still in spring, so we haven't turned to summer yet, but it's a gorgeous day here. And as we pan the view behind me, you can see that we have got our product in. We are ready to go. If this airs before Mother's Day, we've got some great gifts for moms. And if it airs after Mother's Day, we'll still have those nice gifts for you. Folks, we're anxious to get the fruit trees in. Those have come in. We have nice varieties of apples, cherries, peaches, pears, and plums for you. Also, the roses just came in. You see me standing in the, in the rose garden. Uh, this particular variety Playboy is already in flower but a nice selection for you. We'd encourage you to get your roses earlier than later because they have a tendency to fly out of here. So come on over and see us soon for that. This time of year is a great time to fertilize your trees and shrubs. We have a wide variety of fertilizers here. Tree Tone for trees, Rose Tone, 
the garden tone for general garden products. We have a bloom enhancer, a triple phosphate fertilizer that helps to stimulate blooms. We have the aluminum sulfate to keep your hydrangeas blue in color. So as far as the time to fertilize, now is that time to do it to help give your plants a boost. We're now going to move into the area of our shade shrubs and take a look at some rotos. Russ, thanks for coming over here in our shade area for the plants. I'm staying in front of some beautiful rhododendron that are just starting to show their color. The rhododendron that we sell here at Wojo's comes from the western side of the state, over in the Sagatuck area, a grower over there called Rose Bay. At my house, this is the only brand of rotos that grow. They're very durable, they're acclimated to our area, and they make an excellent, excellent addition to your landscape. Being a shade-loving plant, though, they should go on the east side of the house, where they get morning sun, afternoon shade, and in the wintertime, they get protection from the hot sun and wind. So the, the rotos are out now. For Mother's Day weekend, we're going to have a nice assortment of the hydrangeas in bud and bloom. So again, if this airs before Mother's Day, you'll be able to come over and get those for mom. And if this airs after Mother's Day, you'll have a chance to pick them up then. So some beautiful flowering hydrangeas will be coming in this week. We're now going to move into the perennial area. Thanks, Russell, for coming over in our perennial area. We have some instant color for your yard. Some of the early flowering perennials are up here, the bleeding hearts and the uh, candy tuft plants. We have a nice selection. Most of our varieties are up in our perennial area. Back here behind me, you see the beautiful panorama of the coral bells that have come up so that we are now ready to get you your perennials. Also peonies. I, if you want tree peonies, I'd come in soon because those have a tendency to fly out of here. We have a nice arrangement of those at this time. So come on in and see us. Also within the perennial area, we have the viney, uh, the vines of the blueberry, the raspberries, the strawberries are available now at this time in our perennial department. We're now going to go inside the greenhouse and look at some hanging baskets and annuals. Thank you Russ for coming back into Veggieville. This is an area where Wojo's shines. 32 years ago, Joe Wojo started out the business with a single greenhouse and a 10 by 10 roadside stand out by the road and he sold vegetables and this is our forte. The plants that we raise here that we start from seed or cuttings and offer for sale are the finest vegetables that you'll find in the area. Also they are proven varieties, those that will perform very well for you and meet your specific tastes and enjoyment. We also have special picks. I'm standing here in front of a pepper pick. We have a Wojo pick for tomatoes. These are plants that over the years Joe and his brother Mike have experienced as being exceptional for their product that they produce. So with that when you come in here, you want to take a look at all the varieties, but especially the Wojo picks. You know when you pick one that has that name on it, that you're in for a, uh, a special treat. Thank you, Russ, for coming in today and taping this. We'll see you again soon. Well, that's all the time for this week. We hope you enjoyed our program. Congratulations to Addison Township bringing back NODA. By the way, the Spring Fashion Show was presented by the Boulevard Boutique in Oxford and by fashions provided by Boulevard Boutique, Ella Fashion, and Glorious Collections, all in Oxford. There you go. So for our reporter Julie Hogan, George White, and our reporter slash editor Terry Stiles, I am Bill Service, and you have a great, great week. <laughs>